Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have lots of chores to do around the farm. So, first thing we're going to do is we got to get the chickens fed and the grain in the grain mill and the beets um, in the beet uh, or the sugar beet mill. Look at that thing. Uh, and we also need to get this um, trailer here uh, or manure spreader put away. So... Let's hook this up in our brand new Fent tractor. And we're just going to store this over in our other hay shed. We might need to actually buy another shed. Um, I've thought about taking this little section right over here and putting another shed over here, maybe even a bigger shed. I'd like to kind of stop using it for hay just because it's irregular shaped and it's kind of a pain in the butt even though you know that hay does make us money but we have other things now that are going to start making us money too so um let's uh yeah go take this over to the shed and then we'll well you know what we could actually use this to to get the barley um well maybe i'll bet you we can't if it's got the manure attachment on it yeah, because it even shows just manure in the lower right-hand corner. So, yeah, we probably can't. Okay, so we're going to need to... What are we going to do here? I think what I'm going to do is pull this out a little bit. And, yes, you could pull that in real life. I'm going to take these items and move them... This you could conceivably slide around in real life too just didn't want don't want to drop it on you because it'll kill you put that stuff there if I can still get at it from the side as needed and then we'll put you kind of more uh, over here and then that gives us a spot to park our new manure spreader Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Okay. Let's go get uh, one of our big trailers. And we're going to head over to the train station. I still would like to get my own site. Whoa. <laughs> this thing goes so fast. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's probably been sitting in there since episode one. Well, maybe not episode one, but I'll just throw it down there for now. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember now. Oh, the tractor goes so fast that it it spins out. We'll grab this one on this side because it's easier to get to. Oh, looks like I have something still in there like a, just a tiny amount of sugar beets how funny is that well we know what we can do with those yeah I've got 52 liters of sugar beets in here <laughs> look at that that's funny all right well let's go drop those off we're, we're gonna well no actually here we, we got to go get the load of sugar beets anyway so let's just do that first and then we'll do the grain next the cows are really low but I don't think they're completely out chickens are, are low yeah, they still have 1,700 liters, so as long as we get them fed today on February 1st, they'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, let's just run over to the train station and load up on sugar beets so we can get our sugar production going. And we're going to forward uh, or distribute the beets directly to the dairy and the, um, the bakery. If we end up having any excess sugar, we'll just sell it, of course. But I'm not sure if if we will, at least this year. Uh, we'll see, though. I think the sugar mill can produce a lot of sugar, but we only have a limited amount of beets for the to get it started. So we'll just kind of play things by ear and see how it all comes together. I do plan on planting... Um, either planting or purchasing a sugar beet field at some point this year. 
so we'll see you know we'll just kind of see again how that pans out too let's put our lights on all right let's find the beats and load them up We got a, a pretty nice little bunch of them, you know, at the end of the... I did two big sugar beet contrast, contracts in October and November. Oh, wow, we, we completely filled the trailer up. Uh, well, in terms of its weight capacity. Okay, um, how, many, how many more do we still have in there? Let's take a look at that. Sugar beets. We still have 12,000 more liters. Yeah, this will definitely jumpstart our sugar our sugar mill nicely. I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but is it those of you who, you know, have worked sugar beets uh, in this game before, is it worth it to to do cut beets? I mean, worth all the extra effort? Uh, if it is, let me know because, you know, then we we can look at doing that. But I don't know. One of you guys mentioned in the comments, too, that sugarcane was more profitable than sugar beets. So that's something we might look at at some point. It just seems weird, though, to grow sugarcane in this environment. Because that's, you know, that's more of a, isn't that like a tropical kind of crop? I don't know. I've heard it's kind of a pain in the butt to harvest and stuff, too. Um, You can't, to my knowledge, you can't. At least in a single-player game, you can't drive the um, the harvester. You have to have a worker drive it because it doesn't have any storage. So you have to, you know, have a trailer going alongside it. But I suppose if you set up like follow me with an offset or a course play or something, you could do it that way. But I don't know. It just seems like a big hassle. Okay, so the plan for dropping off sugar beets is actually going to be pretty easy. Let me just pull right on up here and dump them. Where's our tip side? Tip side back. Yep, that's what we want. All right. Glenwood Sugar Mill. Oh, I need to name all these, too. Put an OG in front of them so I know which one's mine. Um, let's actually do that right now. So... There we go. Okay, now let's go into the production for the sugar mill. And we want to activate sugar beet sugar. And we want the outgoing products to distribute. And that should put it into our dairy and into, I guess, I guess it evenly distributes across the dairy and the uh, the bakery. I don't know how it does that or how it prioritizes that, but um, yeah, that's what it'll do. Actually, you know what though? I wonder if this will go to my warehouse instead. If it does, which is fine, that's not a problem. Especially if we ever get to a, the a, the point where we have a surplus, we would actually want that to happen. Um, but let's go to the warehouse and let's make sure that um the sugar is active and that it is also distributing there we go so yeah this this will basically act as a buffer so if we do get an excess of sugar it'll just be stored in the warehouse um so yeah well, we should be good on that all right let me um look at this one more time Sugar beet sugar, yeah. Okay, so it's active because it's got the little blue thing. And look at that. It's already made one liter of sugar. How about that? Hot darn. Cool. Okay, let's go get the rest of the sugar beets, and then uh, we'll do the grade next. This is fun, man. This is fun stuff. I'm surprised that we were able to do as much as we were able to do with that money. 
Um, you know, two of the large sheep barns, pretty much with maybe one exception, all of the rest of the productions that I'll probably use on this series. That's not to say I won't maybe in the future, you know, build even more of them. But, you know, one thing I'm not going to do on this series, uh, or not planning to do anyways, is like grapes and olives and um, cereal. Um, not going to do that this time around. That's we, we might we you know we might do that in the future, but we're not going to do it on this series. At least that's not my, in my plans. We'll put it that way. Things can change, of course. Okay, get the rest of the sugar beets. Twelve thousand and change more liters. Very nice. Okay, we'll go dump these off and then we'll come back and we'll get the grain. You know what would be nice is a bridge. Uh... So we've got a crossing here, so maybe a bridge like, yeah, probably right here. Let's look at that real quick. Uh, and I have a couple of different bridge mods installed. I just don't know how expensive they are. I'm not exactly sure where they are either, for that matter. Are they under tools? Farmhouses, animals, dec maybe under decoration and other. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Um, oh, they're not that expensive. That's the... I kind of don't want one with... Oh my goodness, that thing's huge. Is there some way to make it smaller? Uh, I kind of won't want one with rails, though, because sometimes, you know, we want to get across it like with the combine or something. Okay, yeah, let's go back to these. These are from a mod. Um, that's kind of narrow. Oh, these might not be wide enough, though. I mean, they... They're pretty narrow. <laughs> uh, what about this? Oh, that's even narrower. I think that's the same. Is that the same width as the other one? It's just longer um all right let's look at that again let's go back to this one again see that's wider it's just got the rails but i don't know we could probably work with that i suppose and um maybe having it right about here would make sense too so let's um turn it this way And I wonder if I have to r remove the shrubs first. There, let's, um... So we're looking right about here. Okay, let's do a save. Uh, to remove those shrubs, I think we can just paint them away. Yeah. There we go. That works. Um, I want to... Make that continue to look like a crick, though. That's about all I can maybe do, unless I can um, add a little bit of this in, too. 
Yeah, I think that looks all right. Okay, let's go back to decoration and others. And we want, we're going to do this lizard bridge here, I think. Or, well, maybe we should do the longer one. No. I think this one will work. But I think we want to flip it around this way. No, we want it to go this way. Yeah, because that's the higher end. Okay, and then what we want to do here is we're going to want to raise this up a little bit. Um, let's reduce the size of this. Oh, I guess that's... Okay, now let's just soften it a bit. Let's just try that and see how it works. Maybe just a little bit more softening there. Oh, you know what? Something occurred to me. <laughs> OG hasn't changed his clothes in over a year. <laughs> Should probably do something about that, huh? Oh, poor guy. Oh, I'm in the way. Yeah, he's. It's been <laughs> been a while since he's had a change of clothes. Um. Anyway, okay. I'll soften this a little more through here. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. That works. That works rather nicely. We could even maybe put one in up on that end too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Listen to that sugar milk going at it. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, we've got 46,000.4 liters of sugar beets, and it's up to 15 liters there. And I think the way this is going to work is it's going to throw it into the distribution warehouse, maybe. Material's missing. It hasn't put anything in there yet. Has it put anything in the bakery or the dairy? Uh, we actually want to activate this too, by the way. All right, so I don't see anything in the dairy yet. In fact, we got to put milk in the dairy too. Uh, what about the bakery? Well, um, sugar, yeah. We got to make sure all of this stuff is <laughs> going to the bakery to make the cakes, which sell for quite a bit of money. Okay, well, let's just let that run, and uh, we'll go get our barley next, top off our chickens, and then throw that in the green mill.
I think once we remove the barley out of here, we will no longer have anything stored at the train station. Yeah, we got the barley. I'm just kind of sort cycling through everything. Yep, there we go. Okay. We have a decent amount of this too. Some of it came from our own field and some of it came uh, from contracts. Nice, man. We filled the trailer up again and still have 12,000 liters left. That's almost exactly the same as amount as uh, same amount as we had with the sugar beets. Okay, let's go give this to the chickens. Well, we'll give 9,000-ish liters of it to the chickens, I should say. Alright, chickens will be good for most of the rest of this year, if not the entire rest of this year. Look at those shops. Alright, our first load of grain into our grain mill. Beautiful. Okay, let's get uh, this guy started making barley flour. So we'll activate that. And we want the flour to be distributed. So again, the, the thing I'm not 100% sure about, and we'll find out as time goes on, is it going to take it to the warehouse or is it going to take it directly to the bakery? Since the bakery is actually the only recipient of it, it doesn't kind of doesn't matter. Um, the only would m potentially matters is you know when we start to get a surplus, which may never happen. I mean, not it might be that the mill can't keep up with it, in which case we might have to get two going. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how it all pans out. I've seen some of these this stuff in action watching other people's videos, but this is the first time I myself have. Um, you know, worked with these new productions, so that's how we learn. Learn by doing. Hey, we got our first thing of wool. Look at that. All right. That's great. And the rest of the barley. Okay, so we got our sugar mill going and we have our grain mill going. Um, let's see, what's next? We should go, we could go move the wool into the spinnery. We don't have very much of it, but enough to at least get it started. So let's park the fent over here and jump in the telehandler. Actually, you don't want to park it right in front of all that stuff. We're 
we're not going to keep this here uh, for long, just for, for the moment. And we need to get milk uh, into the dairy, too. Oh, that's dragging on the ground. I'm going, what's going on here? Our first little bale of wool. Isn't that cool? It acts like there's another bale on there, even though we can't see it. Okay, so we should be able to just drop these right here. Or, okay, that works too. <laughs> and then we'll go into our spinnery. And we want fabric wool. We want to activate that. And we want this to be distributed. There we go. Okay. Uh, how much do we have? 353 liters. Not a whole lot, but it's a start, right? It is a start. It takes uh, two wool to make one fabric. Nice. The Swirling Spindle. All right, next up on the chore list is getting milk into the dairy. And actually, I'm going <coughs> to take this over by the hay because we're going to need to do a mixture. Okay, let's run over and get our milk tanker. You know, it might actually make sense. Well, I was going to say it might make sense to keep this over by the cows, but we also need it to water the greenhouses. Uh, so until I get a second tank, kind of six and one half does the other, I suppose. That's all the milk we have? Oh, uh, did we? Oh, right. Yeah, I, I sold it all <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday, completely forgot about that. Okay. So that means um, our dairy production is going to not really be doing a whole lot for an, another month, but that's all right. Not, to, not that big a deal. I, for, I completely forgot. We emptied the barn out and sold the milk. Um, but we will, I mean, we have 1,500 liters. We might as well drop that off, right? There we go. Okay, well, that gives us a tiny bit of milk. Don't know how long that will last, but... Uh, let's go to our dairy and so yeah we have activated the chocolate we just need to wait for the the sugar to get to it now let's look at the sugar 38 liters I don't know how many liters we need to have before it starts distributing so we'll just have to let it run and see and yes I am aware that there each time we activate this stuff we get a monthly cost but it's fairly insubstantial. I just want to get things up and running. Okay, so 
I think we're gonna wait before we activate the tailor or the bakery shop. Uh, we need to get a nice little supply of flour and fabric into those before anything starts there. So no point in paying the activation fee on those when it can't do anything. Okay, so that takes care of the milk. I think the next thing is to get the cows fed, so let's do that next. How are the cows doing on straw? Uh, they're, they're pretty good. We can wait and do that maybe next month. Just need to get them some feed. Now, I have a question for you experienced players. I saw several videos that were put out, oh, I don't know, four or five, six months ago, that said mineral feed does absolutely nothing for the TMR mixture. Um, it's required for the robotic feeder because it won't work without it, but it doesn't actually do anything otherwise. Is that, does anybody know if that is still the case or has the, have the giants patched that uh, recently? I'm going to use up what I have left, but until I can, um, okay, that puts a hundred percent in. It won't, it won't stay that way once we start putting the other stuff in, but Anyway, what, you know, if you guys know what the deal is with that, I'd like to know because there's no point messing with it if it's not doing anything, obviously, right? You'd think that, that would, that's a bug or an oversight because it just doesn't make sense to me, you know, that it wouldn't do anything. It's supposed to do something. It's supposed to increase the um, milk production, I think, or something like that. Or make the cows healthier or whatever, which in turn would increase the milk production, supposedly. Okay, so we want one bale of straw. And two bales of hay. Okay, so I've been filling the straw up a little beyond its limit because it goes back down when you put the hay in. So we want to go up probably about to there. I don't want to overdo it though, of course. Let's go get the hay. That's right. I'm actually just going to do one at a time anyway. Okay. And then uh, we'll just top off the rest with hay. I don't usually operate this in first person. It's interesting. Such a useful machine. 
I know I say that a lot, but if you were to ask me, what's the one of the most useful machines in Farming Simulator 22? Telehandler by far, especially with this bag uh, attachment thingy. Okay, so let's just drop that in until it completely fills up. See, we could even put more straw in, actually, but the more straw we put in, the less silage there's going to be. So I think I'd prefer to have hay be the bulk of it. All right, nice. Let's go park this, and then we'll come back and feed up them cows. If I decide in the future to get the large cow barn without the auto feeder, then we're definitely going to need to get a larger TMR wagon. But this this does okay with the smaller barn. All right, eat up, cows. Okay, so that gets us um, up to 25,000 liters, which will be fine for the next couple of months-ish. And I think, you guys, we got all of our chores done. Uh, oh, I got eggs to pick up, and I'm actually going to take those eggs and put them... No, we... Okay, no, actually, no, I'm going to put them in the warehouse like I normally would do, and what should happen is the warehouse should move them over to the bakery, but it might not do that until I actually activate the cake production, though. So, yeah, we'll just continue putting them in the warehouse for now. And, you know, we've we've gotten by through an entire year and then some by that little silage tube that I made, so I don't even think I'll, I'll do that. Um, that as in do hay. I think we'll just keep doing silage as normal. Um, okay, what's going on here? Did that disconnect? There we go. I couldn't get the, the button to work right. So yeah, I don't think we need to um, to do silage. And you know, if, if it looks like <laughs> later on in the year that we are gonna run out, then you know, we just take one of our smaller areas of our field and make, make a little more hay out of it. But I mean, you know, we're doing this roughly every two months, right? So we still have a full year's worth of bales right there, six bales, because I think we started off with 12, didn't we? 12 or 13. So yeah, we'll just let that go and not worry too much about it. So I think the plan for this year is we're going to make the small... Oh, that reminds me. I am, I'm a terrible employer, you know that? <laughs> Absolutely terrible employer. I forgot to pay my workers uh, for, for the help with all the market. So I did keep track, though, of how many... I'm just going to keep this simple, okay? I'm not going to worry about pallets versus bales versus silage. We basically moved 61 trailer loads of product between all of that stuff. That's what I counted. And I said a few episodes ago that I'm paying my workers $50 per trailer load. Uh, we had two workers helping us, we're going to say. Uh, the driving doesn't count because the computer already charged us for that, you know, using the AI. Uh, so basically, we need to multiply um, 61 times 100, which of course is 6,100. And then I'm going to give my workers an extra $1,000 bonus, which means we need to deduct 8,100 from the money to pay for the workers. We'll just pretend like I actually paid them last month, though, and didn't forget. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, we got to get that squared away. I was, I was thinking after I ended the last episode, I'm going, crap, I forgot to pay the workers. So uh, we got that taken care of. All right, what are we doing? Uh, I think we just have eggs to move, right? And then we're done uh, with the chores and probably done with February. There shouldn't be any contracts. I mean, I didn't even look. There usually isn't contracts in the winter, but 
strangely enough, I did have some contracts. Yeah, sometimes they'll pop up like that, but then they just immediately disappear again. Uh, we did have some contracts in December, which is unusual. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, so to move the eggs, we just have the one pallet there. Yeah, you know what? I, th I think I'll worry about that later. Maybe we'll move them. Uh, I'll wait till the end of February, February 3rd, and then I'll move them at that point. I'll just do that off camera. Okay, guys. Uh, I think our warehouses are in good, or I mean our greenhouses, rather, are in good shape as far as their product goes. They are low on seeds, so uh, we'll probably either at the end of this month or very beginning of next month uh, redo the seeds for them. And I do have some seeds in storage. Uh, not a lot though. We're probably going to have to buy some more, which we can do. Uh, not a big deal. And, uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. I haven't figured out where we're going to park the Fint. <laughs> uh, the Fint needs a home. Uh, oh, I guess I should go get my trailer and bring it back too. You know what I might do is park one of those trailers outside next to the other flatbed and put the Fint in here. Assuming that it'll fit. Will the Fint fit? Let's see. Yeah, it will. It's a wide, well, wider tractor than our other tractors. So yeah, this is the new home for the Fent. And the other trailer we're just going to park out in the yard. Uh, until I get a storage said, uh, shed solution. So again, my tentative plan on that <coughs> is this little section right over here. Uh, we're probably going to put up like a really big big shed like a really expensive big shed not not right away but um so i'd like you know the edge of this field to probably stop here so we have a you know really nice rectangle to work with and then we'll convert this area to a big area for a shed and, and some more farmyard um not going to happen immediately but that's in the future in the future plans all right you guys i'm gonna let you go here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video Hey, woohoo, look at that, man. We've got some airtime. It's probably not a good idea, actually. <laughs> um, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.